Hey, what's up, guys? It's a funky diabetic, and welcome to episode 7 of my Nyx My G. Hold on. This doesn't feel right. Now that's more like it. Happy New Year! The Knicks don't suck. Although we're not that great either. We're currently the sixth seed, which in the Eastern Conference is not that much of an accomplishment, but we'll take it. And it seems Carmelo Anthony has been kinda mad at the way we've presented him this season as a ball hog. Which is completely true, but he has told me that in the next contest, he's not gonna shoot the ball at all unless the team really needs it. Hey, I'll believe it when I see it, Melo. And that's not even the best part. We're going up against the Detroit Pistons, which is my other team on YouTube. So, this should be awkward. What makes this even weirder is that I created a fake storyline where I traded Greg Monroe to, of all teams, the New York Knicks. So this is basically the inception version of a basketball game. All right, Melo, you, holy crap, he passed the ball, and it was a good play. Is he serious with this? He's got to take it this time. He's got Brandon Jennings on him. No, Melo, don't move the ball. It actually makes sense now. You can take Brandon Jennings anytime you want. There you go, Melo. It's okay. You can shoot the ball on this one. Just, no, Melo, don't pass it off. Oh, God. Melo's gone insane. Anybody think Bargnani's actually going to go to the paint here? Yeah, I didn't think so. That guy hasn't seen the paint all season, especially with Andre Drummond in front of him. It was like a deer in headlights. P.J. Augustine now, and Greg Monroe's got it. Double teamed by Quincy A.C. and the midget of Shane Larkin. Drummond the rebound. And that's the rebounding you're going to get from this Knicks bench. And you want to talk about limitless potential. Well, Andre Drummond's got it. And he hit the free throw. I'm sure whatever play call Stan Van Gundy gave Brandon Jennings, he just interpreted it as, shoot the ball, because that's the only thing he wants to do right on cue, Brandon. My goodness, he's just gonna hoist that thing up. Mello with his head up. Oh, what a pretty pass out to Bullock. Carmelo Anthony or Steve Nash? This is ridiculous. Remember in my last video when I said that was my worst editing job? Well, now it's this one. We just had a seven point lead and now it's a one point game pretty much out of nowhere. And Quincy AC has taken a day and a half to actually get the ball down to Jordan Crawford. Now he's working on DJ Augustine and a layup over Andre Drummond. Let me ask you something. How does Jordan Crawford hit a contact shot over Andre Drummond, but he can't hit a wide open mid-range shot, even though he's a 90 from there? Boy, oh boy, 2K. It's something else, but unfortunately it's the only basketball game we have. Now the Pistons moving around, and holy crap, where was the Knicks' defense? Well, Melo's been living his dream of being LeBron James in this game. But given that it's a tie game in this fourth quarter, I think he wants to actually shoot the ball. Now, ooh, we got Singler in the air. All right, that was Melo's first basket of the game. Look out. Seems like Brandon Jennings is in attack mode, and you can see Stan Van's face getting redder and redder each second. Good rebound by Alex Len, the Knicks off and running. Mello, where's he gonna go? Oh no, oh no! Mello just threw a lob to Wilson Ch That may be the first lob pass that Mello's ever been involved with because he can't jump high enough to catch him and you know he's never willing to actually throw them. And now the Pistons moving the ball around instead of just giving it to Greg Monroe. You'd think Stan Van would be good enough to get these guys to listen. And Brandon Jennings just wants to take another shot. Ay ay ay. Mello, oh no, he's doing it again. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. You know, eventually Mello's gonna throw one of these lob passes and it's gonna hit somebody in the face in the front row. It's only a matter of time. Although he just gave Stoudemire a beautiful bounce pass. You know, I'll be damned. Carmelo Anthony lived up to his word. He's been making plays. I mean, he's got seven assists up to this point, and it has worked. Well, Drummond's not hurting anybody from there. And the last thing you want to do is give the ball back to Brandon Jennings. Oh, it's like a ticking time bomb. Eventually, he's going to mess up. And then Carmelo Anthony wants to rub it in my face one more time. Hey, I love this team. I really do. I'm breaking the fourth wall a little bit here. Brandon Jennings is going to have a very short leash given that Reggie Jackson is now on the team. He's just lucky I don't have the roster update. 
And the Knicks can't get a rebound. And the clock is dwindling down on the Pistons. Not much time left. And for some reason, I backed up with Wilson Chandler there because I thought that there wasn't enough time left on the clock. And now I have to hit free throws. But they called a clear path foul on Monroe. Well, then that's going to do it. The good thing about getting a clear path foul is that it allows you to shoot the ball with Melo one more time, which allows him to get to the free throw line to pad his stats a bit more. Why are the Pistons calling timeout? Let's just get out of here. For some reason, they made me sit through another timeout screen rather than just ending the game. But we win, and now we're still the sixth seed. Don't get your heads up.